Hey ninjas, today I've got a new toy. This is the Mario pedal. It is an 8-bit crush pedal, so it takes your guitar sound and makes it sound like you're playing an old computer game from like the 80s or older. It's really, really cool. I'm going to have a play around with it. So we've got a few different controls on here. We've got crush. That basically gives you the amount of... Um, the amount of the 8-bit noise that you're going to get out of it. Even though there's a separate bit called 8-bit. Um, now, for the untrained ear that doesn't really understand a huge amount about it, basically, the bit control makes it sound more distorted, but it still lets the clean sound through. So it's kind of like you get two channels come out of this, like you get a clean and a distortion both running at the same time, and that kind of controls how much the distortion's turned up. The crush is what makes it sound more 8-bitty, and you'll hear it like in the background as soon as you've got that whacked up. We've got a mix that obviously makes it more a bitty or less. And then we've got this toggle switch, uh, which took me a while to realise it's just a high pass or a low pass filter. So it makes your guitar sound more bassy or more trebly as you go. Uh, as you can see, proper little mini thing. Um, I grabbed this off Amazon for about £35. Uh, there will be a link in the description if anybody wants to grab one. And if you grab it from there, that'd be great. Because I'll get a small amount of money from you purchasing it, which will help me make more videos like this. So, anyway, meant to sound like old bit games, so I'm going to start by trialling some old school classic games on my guitar for you and see how it goes. Uh, once we've done that, we'll have a go at making our own little computer game sounds. Right. 8-bit pedal. I'm going to put this down, let's have a go. So to start with I've got just a fairly clean guitar sound, not completely clean. And not the best guitars. But it's somewhere to start with. The great thing is this is going to mess the sound up so much that it doesn't matter if my guitar tone originally doesn't sound great. So let's start by keeping the mix to full so it sounds as computer game as possible. We're going to put it just on the normal setting, so no low or high pass filter. I'm going to put the bit setting so it sounds a bit distorted around halfway. And I'm going to put the crush up to max. And this is the sound we get. As you can hear, there's a crackle that continues when I stopped. That is always going to be there when the crush is that high. Um, I've had a little bit of a play around, and the best sound that I've managed to get for what I like out of it is this one. As you can hear, there's still a fair bit of guitar sound in there, um, but it means that we can hear the notes. If we really whack it all up, then when I start to play the higher notes, it starts to try and make them sound lower. It's really weird. Like this. has no idea what notes are being played by the sounds of it because it just throws it all out. So let's start with the classic. I found a tone that I'm quite happy with. So let's go for the Tetris theme tune. Yeah, it's not the same, is it? So I'm going to have another go, uh, this time we're going to have a go with Super Mario. As you can hear, it's really trying to crush those high strings and make them lower so it's still not completely there. But still, absolutely love it, that's just, I don't know how to set it up to get that just how I want it. Um, like I say, brand new to pedals. This is a whole new venture for me, but absolutely loving the sounds I'm getting out of this. Okay, let's go for another classic. So this one um, is it's a classic for my age group. Um, older people won't see this as much of a classic, I guess. This is the uh, Pokemon games from the original Red and Blue days. So it wouldn't be right to play some classics with such an 8-bit sound without playing Pac-Man, of course. Okay, so we've got a couple of classics in there. You can kind of hear the idea. Again, 
I'm sure other people will be able to make a far better sound out of it than I can. So now I'm going to have a go at making my own one up. Now, 8-bit computer game sounds are actually really easy to do. They're all going to be single notes. That's as simple as it's going to be. Uh, if we want the more happy Pokemon style, then we just stick to the notes of the major scale. And if we want to make something sound more boss level or um, fast moving or dying, then we start to put some minor or even diminished sounds in. So let's start. This is my little happy game thing. Um, just going to play around with the major scale up here. There we go, there's a nice happy major thing. Now, obviously, 8-bit, the way this is crushing reminds me of more old school fighter and levels where you have bosses. So I feel like I need to put something a bit more boss level in. So for this, we're gonna go down to those lower notes and we're gonna smack around some evil stuff. <laughs> Imagine if you put that on a load of distortion in an 8 string, that would sound like Gent. Anyway, that's our evil boss one. So one last one to go for is like crazy warp speedy kind of things in space. And for this, what I realised was having a run up some diminished arpeggios. Now this is quite hard to play for some people, but running up some diminished arpeggios gives a really cool feel. So let's see if I've got the settings right for this to work. So the 8-bit Mario pedal. I think it is really fun, really awesome. Um, I don't know how often I'd use it. In my old band, I had a song called Old School Gamer, um, where we would play the Tetris tune and Mario tune and things within the song. So it would have come in really handy then, uh, but I've only just recently managed to get hold of a power adapter and I didn't care that much at the time. Never really done much with pedals. But Absolutely love it. If you want to have some fun and play around with one, like I say, the link is in the description, so go check it out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!